Hello, my most awesome project managers. How you doing? Your buddy Phil here. I speak about page 686 to 694 ad nauseum on this channel. I just wanted to go through the importance of this page, okay? 686, 687, 688, all the way to 694. Now, this is from the Pembok Gold series, which I will be bringing to you, telling you things to check up in the Pembok guide because these are priceless. If you do what I'm asking you to do, it will go a long way in helping you get certified. So if you take a look at this screen right here, we have data analysis. This is where that whole narrative of tools and techniques starts. You know, the tools and techniques are broken down into grouped and ungrouped tools and techniques. So what I'm showing you right here is one of those grouped sections, data analysis. Under data analysis, you can see we've got a boatload of things here. We've got alternatives analysis, We've got assessment of other risk parameters, so on and so forth. These are priceless because if you use this, first of all, as a checklist to go through them one by one and honestly ask yourself, huh, alternatives analysis, what am I really analyzing? If you cannot explain what you're analyzing, you need to go right quick to the first port of call right here, 9.2, open it up, read it, and then go through the others, okay? Because you should go through all of these one time. What are they talking about? Alternatives for doing things, alternatives for managing that process. So 9.2 is resources, estimate, activity, resources. But that's not the only place alternatives analysis is, but for those of you that know the history of the PEMBOK guide, when we talked about alternatives analysis way back, we were talking about alternatives for carrying out the work. Should we use a manual device or should we use an automated? Should we use a highly skilled resource or a less skilled resource? And things like that. But you need to understand the basis and that's why the PMI have introduced the bold font, which I will make red here for emphasis. They have introduced that bold numbering because that is where you need to start. You need to start from here, and then after you've got that down, understand the context of all the others. So, you know, like I said, 9.2 is somewhere you want to start because that is like the baseline for that definition. Okay? Then understand the context for all the others, 4.5, what, what, what are they analyzing alternative-wise, so on and so forth. Do that for every single one of these grouped and ungrouped, okay? So you've got data analysis, data gathering, data representation, all the way to the ungrouped, as you can see, tools and techniques. You need to go through all of this stuff with a fine-tooth comb and then Take notes, take notes, take notes about all of this stuff to assure yourself that you understand this, okay? I would suggest that you sign up for the training we've got going on that emphasizes this. It's on Prazion. Uh, go to the more products, and then you want to go to tools and techniques turbo right there. And folks who sign up for this, if they request, I will send them that spreadsheet. So you want to go to Tools and Techniques Turbo. You can download the content, as you can see, but just go to that page, okay? Read up more about it, and I'm sure this will add tremendous value to your prep, especially those of you struggling with these pesky tools and techniques, okay? I hope this helps. Take care. Bye for now.